Hey, I'm Nicole Rodriguez, and we'll be doing some collagraphs today. Welcome to Art Adventures. So the materials we have for this project is some paper and um, construction paper. We have paint. This is palette paper. This is the foam board. We have scissors, tape, embroidery thread, felt, some paint brushes. Um, popsicle sticks, glue, and a pencil if you want to sketch out your ideas. And what a collagraph is, is pretty much a collage made out of different materials that you apply paint onto, and then you make a print from it. Uh, and it will grab all of the textures that the materials have. So let's say I use felt in my, my collage, it would pick up all the little details of that texture. So it's a really fun way to experiment with different things and create prints out of it. So today I'm gonna make a sunset. And I cut my piece into a smaller piece and this is gonna be my background. So this is what I'm gonna glue all of my pieces onto. And I have this piece to cut out different shapes. So looking at my materials, I'm like thinking, what can I use for different textures? I think I'm gonna use the embroidery string to make like water. So I think I'm gonna glue that down at the bottom first. So I'm gonna open up my glue stick, glue, and then I'm gonna put some glue onto the palette paper and use a paintbrush to apply the paint onto my foam core board. And you can really just do whatever with this, because like it's gonna be an experiment. Next, I think I'm gonna try to use this felt, and I'm gonna cut it in lines to give me the horizon of my sunset. You can apply the glue in many different ways, like directly onto it or with the paintbrush. And I'm gonna add more string. So the next thing I'm gonna do is use uh, my extra piece of foam to make like a half circle for the sun. And you can cut a lot of different shapes out of this. Maybe I'll make a bird. I don't know, like flying through. And birds, I'm just gonna make a classic V bird. Maybe this is a seagull, I don't know. Think of things that you'll find at the beach. Maybe you make a landscape. Maybe you'll make a face. Maybe you'll make your home. You can make anything. Okay, I think I'm done. I feel pretty good about this. So next thing you wanna do is figure out what color paint you want for your, your collagraph to be. You can either use one color or you can experiment and use many different colors on different parts of the print. So the next step after you made your collagraph is inking the plate. And what you're gonna do is put your paint onto palette paper, which is just a plasticky paper that holds your paint so it doesn't get too messy. Um, and I'm gonna use all these different types of colors. One thing you can do is use specific colors for certain parts of your design. So like for example, maybe I wanna make my clouds blue, so I'm gonna use some blue for that portion. And usually sunsets are like orange, pink, and red. So I'm gonna put some of those colors down on my palette paper. Sometimes there's purple in a sunset too, so I'll put a little bit of that. Oh yeah, and there's blue in the water, so I'm gonna add more blue paint. Once you have all of your colors down, you're gonna take your paintbrush and apply the paint onto those areas. So I'm gonna start with blue and put it on the clouds. And you can just dab the paint or brush it back and forth. Um, 
And don't worry about getting it messy like onto this part because essentially when you make the print, the paper will only pick up the raised parts of the print. And what's great about Collagraphs is because you're using a lot of different textures, it will pick up all of, um, it will just pick up a lot of different, different textures and designs. It could come out really cool. I'm gonna put a little bit more blue paint. So now that I have my paint down on all of the areas, um, I'm going to take a piece of paper and place it on top of the collagraph, just like that. And now I'm gonna use my hands, make sure they're clean, and apply pressure and kind of rub on the back of the paper all over. Then you lift it up like this, and you have yourself a very interesting collagraph. So there you have it, that is a collagraph. You can always make more and experiment with different colors, maybe different colored papers. Uh, sometimes what I like to do is look at my print and notice the parts that could be better next time and kind of troubleshoot it for the next time you print. So for example, this part, I noticed there might be too much ink. So when I put ink on it again, I may put less ink over there or maybe think about the ways in which I put the ink on. Um, so you can experiment, do whatever you'd like. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Nicole and I'll see you next time. Thank you.